standing dumbbell scarecrow. I recommend starting with a light load, possibly no load at all, depending on your shoulder health, your range of motion, and your relative strength. So when we get set up, we're gonna go into our hinge position, feet under our hips, flat back. I'm gonna start with my hand under my shoulders. I'm doing an upright row essentially to where my humerus, my upper arm is parallel with the floor. I wanna keep my chin in a nice neutral position. Now without moving anywhere other than my shoulder joint and keeping my wrists in neutral, I'm trying to rotate these dumbbells back as far as I can. And then I'm rotating back around to the starting position and then going down to the bottom. So from the side view, in going into my hinge, flat back, upright row. My arms are gonna stop when they're parallel to the floor, chin in a neutral position. I'm gonna rotate those dumbbells, keeping my wrists in neutral, back as far as I can, and then come back down to the starting position. Many individuals struggle with the rotation component of this, being that when they go to rotate, they let their elbow dip and they get into this position and it's gonna change the joint mechanics and the loading pattern in the shoulder. So it's really important that you just kind of think of a rod being placed through your elbow into your shoulder joint to allow just pure glenohumeral rotation to, and that's gonna allow us to load the back half of your shoulder, which is what we're after with the exercise. And again, you may need to scale down to a body weight or modifying the range of motion and then potentially adding load if you're able to get back with the goal of being, trying to get that arm back as far as you can, facilitating more contraction on the back half of the shoulder.